About 80% of the world is water. Yet none all of this is drinkable because may not save 30 or so. But hey, is there any possible to convert sea water into drinkable water? On this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process of producing drinking water from seawater just like we did on board the ship The principle is so simple that we used long time ago, even today! Yes, by boiling. This technique applied to freshwater generator and the process called distillation. Let me explain. To understand this, take a look of this experiment. Place a seawater on a flask container, then heat it up to boil. As you can see, soon the water reaches its boiling temperature, the water turn into steam or vapor while the salt remain on a flask container. However, the vapor cooled down and turned back into water but this time it's absolutely fresh water, not salty and drinkable. From the ocean, Seawater enters the sea chest, then suctioned by centrifugal pump, travel through pipe, all the way to the plant. First, seawater goes through condenser, passing multiple loop or cooler stages, then exit on the condenser outlet, going overboard. While some seawater goes through condenser, some seawater from the last stage of condenser will go through the freshwater heater, or evaporator. There, where the first conversion begins. Seawater is heat up by a cooling medium. On board ships, we use main engine jacket cooling water for heating freshwater generator. It's because it's economical in a way that heat generated by engine is recovered. Here, seawater is boiling as we maintain 50 to 55 degrees Celsius shell temperature. But we all know that water boiled at 100. However, on this system, we can boil it below 100 by introducing vacuum inside the shell using ejector mounted on the system. That's why even our heating medium is only 70 to 85 degrees Celsius, water already boiled and evaporated. Now vapor turned into water by means of condenser then suction by distillate pump. Meanwhile, the water is constantly checked by salinometer keeping the water recirculate until it's truly desalinated. Once the salinity of fresh water reach less than 10 ppm or below, the solenoid valve flows and water flow diverts going to the fresh water tank. From freshwater generator to freshwater tank, now it goes to hydropower system. Whereas water is pressurized using compressed air in order to push toward accommodation for domestic use. However, drinking water will pass through mineralizer unit which mineral, chlorine, and inhibitor are injected. Some design drinking water system is fitted with additional filters and UV lights to disinfect. Or in our case, it goes with one compact system unit, which comprises with multiple stages such as UV light, sediment filter, carbon filter, RO membrane, or known as reverse osmosis. From seawater to vapor, there you have it. Safe, clean, and drinkable fresh water. If 
you feel you have been educated by this video, please do like and share. I know you're interested in learning with this topic, that's why I created this another video, which is the start-stop operation and maintenance. Just click this to watch and see you there.